Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. When it comes to AWS, there are many certifications that you can go for. This video is about the top AWS cloud certifications that you can go with. Now you could surely go for any certification that you want, and each of these cloud certifications are good for different types of people. For example, if you're a programmer, then you can go with a developer certification. Also, let us know if you have, or if you're thinking of getting any of these certifications. As always, if you still have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Now let's jump into it, starting with the AWS Certified Developer Associate Certification. Now this is the best certificate that you can go with if you're into programming. This certification is especially for developers and programmers. You'll need at least one year of experience here, and the experience should be on maintaining and developing with the AWS. It teaches you more about the services when you know the basics of the developer. It doesn't matter which type of language you're working on, whether you're working on Java or you're working on Python, you can surely go with this certification. There are five parts to the program. Phase one is all about the deployment, which is a about 22%. Security is about 26%. Development with AWS services includes 30%. Refactoring covers 10%. And troubleshooting covers 12%. Well, what if you're not really experienced with AWS? That's where number two comes in, and that is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification. The people who have no idea about AWS and are eager to learn about it can take this exam. It's best if you've been learning about AWS for at least six months to be able to pass this one. You can do this in the learning process. Here you will have to learn about all of the basics of the service and the general infrastructure. This exam covers various things, some of which we've talked about in a past video, which we'll link in the description down below. But some of them would be, for example, AWS principles, value proportion of AWS cloud, AWS services, and basic security and compliance. So to put it in simple words, this is all about basic and general infrastructure of AWS. Now this exam is much easier compared to the other exams, and there are many courses that you can take. Even if you have to explore the services properly, this will be the perfect exam for you. The next certification that you can go with is the AWS Certificate for Advanced Networking Specialty. It's a special certification designed for people who are good at networking. Here, the skills required will include complex networking tasks on any hybrid IT network. If you're taking this exam, you should have in-depth knowledge about networking. It's not a normal networking course, but a special advanced course. So you need to have networking skills. Now let's have a look at some of the things that you should know during the exam to give you a better idea on what you'll need to clear this exam. In the exam, you should know about designing, developing, and deploying cloud solutions and Amazon Web Services. Of course, core services knowledge is gonna be needed. Automation networking task knowledge is also required if you wanna pass the exam. And security and networking optimization will work as an advantage here as well. The fourth one we're gonna look at is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. This is a popular AWS certification so that you can go with as an architect. If you're a software artist and have experience in designing distributed apps, this will be the perfect exam for you. The course is for the software architect who wants to show their skills. At first, there were less tools in this exam. However, a few years back, AWS included all of the certifications here. So you'll need to know various things to clear this exam. Some of the things you're gonna to need to know include network technologies, building secure and reliable apps, you should know everything about the AWS services. Knowing hybrid systems and on-premises data will work as an advantage. You'll need to know about scalable systems. Also, things like security and deployment are also needed if you want to pass this exam. Now for number five, the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty Certification. Machine learning is the future. It's one of the highest paying skills and will be in trend for many more years. We talked about this a bit in our previous video, most in-demand software engineering jobs, where we actually included machine learning on it. If you haven't seen that already, you should check that out right now. I'll also include that in the description down below. If you wanna pass this exam, you'll need vast knowledge on many things, which can include machine learning approach, basics of machine learning, 
deploying machine learning solutions to AWS, identifying the best AWS platform, designing and implementing the features with reliable and secure solutions. These are the types of things that you'll need if you want to pass this certification. Now, of course, this is just a list of the top five, but there are a total of 12 AWS certifications that you have the option to choose from. A list of all 12 of them would include the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, Developer Associate, SysOps Administrator Associate, Solutions Architect Associate, DevOps Engineer Professional, Solutions Architect Professional, Advanced Networking Specialty, Security Specialty, Machine Learning Specialty, Database Specialty, Data Analytics Specialty, and Alexa Skill Builder Specialty. It's all about choosing the one that you love the most. Choosing the right certification will help you in developing your career and finding a good paying job. So there we have it. We've covered the top five AWS cloud certifications for 2021. Let us know in the comments which of these certifications you're looking to go for. As always, if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.